By introducing FryRealm, Sonable creates an entire new world of audio manipulation. At the first glance, the plugin might look just like an ordinary equalizer. And it does indeed feature a top of the notch 7 band EQ with everything a modern EQ user may demand for. Obviously, you are free to choose filter types as depicted by the little icons at the top. Control all parameters like frequency gain or quality intuitively by clicking and dragging the handle knobs in the filter curve or also the figures on the top. You can even monitor the activity of each filter with small meters provided in the filter band overview. Besides, you can also solo every filter band if you're looking for a specific aspect in your audio signal, which can be a very useful feature. Now. Some people might ask, what's the point of creating yet another EQ? The simple but not so short answer is, FryRaw may look like an EQ and may even provide a classical EQ layer, but it offers incredibly more. FryRaw is not just a tool to change the loudness of different frequency bands, but it allows a user to access and modify components of an audio signal, which are normally buried deep inside the audio stream. And the great thing about it is that FryRam provides access to these components using the incredibly well-known interface of an EQ. So what components are we talking about? As you can see on the left, FryRam has three tabs that represent the three different layers of interaction. On the top, you find a Smart EQ tab that allows for a high-grade conventional equalizing with a great assistive feature to automatically achieve an optimum spectral balance out of the box, which we'll describe later in the next video. In the middle, you find the proximity EQ tab marked by the color blue, which allows you to change the room impression of your track. And that's where the strength of the equalizer concept comes into action. While we normally use the EQ interface to in or decrease the loudness in specific spectral areas, the proximity EQ offers a unique possibility to change the ratio of direct sound and reverberation the same way. Completely frequency selective and just the way you would use your favorite EQ and without changing the overall spectral balance. The third tab, indicated by red, is called the entropy EQ. Similar to the proximity EQ, the user gets a chance to modify the mix of two other components buried in your signal namely harmonic or tonal, and inharmonic or noise-like. In practical terms, you can, for instance, choose to alter picking sounds or breathiness in contrast to sustained or swinging parts like strings or chords of an instrument or voice. At the bottom of the view, the Global Controls panel gives you immediate impressions of the general settings like Master Gain, or the main proximity and entropy values. Additionally, it gives you easy access to tuning parameters to get some deeper control of the effects. Now let's continue to some more practical examples to illustrate the whole power of FryRaum in the next video.